What is up, guys? It's me, Infinite Lasers here, coming at you with another Deck Thoughts episode. I haven't done one of these in a little while, but bear with me here. I've only try I'm trying to do so many different things at once, and it's a lot of work just to do all these. Um, I found this deck, and I thought it was really awesome. Um, these Ghost Trick, this Ghost Trick archetype is pretty nasty. Uh, they don't come out yet until Shadow Specters, but you know, let me go over some of the stuff here. Uh, let's let me go into like Spirit Reaper. Cause Spirit Reaper is a key card in the deck because you really need them on the field. You're always gonna set Spirit Reaper, and you're always gonna set like a Ghost Trick Panic or something, and it just flips Reaper over, and they just can't do anything to you. Uh, Kianchi, another key card of the deck. It basically is an 1800 Defender. And it's basically your Stratos of the deck whenever someone attacks into it and it's flipped face up. It just adds a Ghost Ring Monster to your hand whose level or less than equal to the number. So you can either add a uh, Spectre, Lantern, uh, Witch, or Stein to your hand because of Kianchi. And Stein is actually a pretty cool one too. Uh, basically when he inflicts, inflicts damage you can add a Ghost Ring Spell or Trap card from your deck to your hand and it's pretty cool too. He, he can't be normal. They all can't be normal summon or uh, they can all cannot be normal summon unless they control another gastric monster. So that's all their effects on that. But once a turn you can also change them all to face down defense position. Uh, we have two gastric which you really only need two of them because you can target a face up monster and t change it to face down defense. So like if your opponent has like a Zen mains or a Stardust or something you can use gastric Witch and flip it face down, attack over, and it hit the life points. Spectre is your draw power of the deck when it's, whenever a Ghost Trick monster in, in your possession is destroyed by a card effect, by battle, or by a card effect. And special summons at face down and you get to draw a card. Uh, Lantern is basically your uh, battle fader of the deck. It's if you're attacked directly, or if he targets a Ghost Trick monster for an attack, special summon it and it negates the attack. So it's pretty cool. It's a really cool archetype, and they're all dark monsters, so... I also... There's also some decks that are using Tsukiyomi. Uh, Tsukiyomi in this deck is actually pretty decent, because you can bounce it back to your hand, and get some hand advantage, and targets a face-up monster on the field also changes it face down, just kind of like a witch. But it doesn't have that cost of a normal summon to do so. Uh, we have Allure of Darkness, Dark Hall... 2 MST, 2 Terraforming, just in case you don't always draw Stein. And Gostrick House, uh, this 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 uh, field spell is almost as nuts as Necro Valley. Um, neither player can attack face down monsters for attacks, and all monsters can, they control in face down defense position half all effect damage that either player takes, and all battle damage that either player takes except battle from Gostrick monsters. So basically, you can have this guy in attack position, and all monsters your opponent controls are in defense. Swing over for 1800 damage is pretty beefy. Now, this card makes the deck pretty freaking nasty. Uh, Swords of Concealing Light makes, if your opponent has a full field of monsters, and you only have maybe a couple of ghost tricks in your hand, and one maybe set on the field, activate Swords of Concealing Light. It just flips everything back face down, and you can swing for game or do whatever you want to do with ghost tricks. Ghost tricks are nuts. Uh, one Forbidden Lance, just to uh, like keep your Ghost Trick monsters alive. Uh, two Phoenix Wing to uh, return like problem cards like a Zen Mains or a Stardust back to the extra deck. And Vanity's Emptiness to stop the special summons. Uh, because these guys, they just flip back face down and they can't special summon. You just keep flipping these guys over and over again. Ghost Trick Panic to, you know, protect everything. Any number of face down monsters you control, mostly it just flips your opponent's monsters face down. You can do that during attacks, it's pretty good. Bottomless, Torrential, Compulse, Warning, basic staple cards in every deck. Uh, Ghost Trick Alucard is a generic rank 3 because it doesn't take anything else. It just detaches a card, targets a set card, and destroys the target. You can only activate a Ghost Trick Alucard on turn. It's just really fucking nuts. Um, I like the deck. It's a really cool archetype. I think it's sh I think it's gonna start topping because, you know, without Heavy Storm, without Monster Reborn, I think the deck can actually do well. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.